Hey folks, this is Johnny and welcome to another Home Studio Trainer Show and this video is for Thursday, July 13th, 2023. Remember, I am releasing a video every day now and uh, sometimes I don't do it on the day, but <laughs> usually I can catch up with no problem. All right, so today we're actually going to take a look at pulling MIDI out of an already transformed track. <laughs> so it used to be a MIDI track. We transformed it to audio, and now we have MIDI data embedded into this transformed audio track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with a drum track how to take that data out and how to add or enhance a drum track uh, that you have in one of your songs. Now, this is actually particularly an old song, so this is going to be a really good example about updating the drums. All right, so if you guys could, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and enable the notifications so that you know when these shows are going to start. Um, if you really like me, <laughs> become a member and uh, show your support with a little financial donation every month. There are three super affordable levels with awesome benefits, and a lot of the benefits include one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom, Zoom or Skype for anybody who becomes a member. All right, very cool. So here we are in the classroom, and this is an old song. A lot of you guys have heard it before. It's got a neat little guitar intro and a very old drum kit. I can't remember the plugin that this was from. I can't for the life of me, but here it is. I've got a reason to feel in this way. All right, so here's the drums. Or here are the drums. For those of you that speak perfect English. All right, so there we go. Um, That is the drum track. So what I want to do is, as you can see here, you can see that there is MIDI embedded in these drum tracks. So this song was actually recorded in Studio One version four. And I pulled it out and uh, realized that when I just moved the song over, it didn't transform a transfer well into the newer version. So I had to go back to the uh, Studio One four and then actually transform all of the tracks that weren't sounding right when they moved. Of course, two different versions of Studio One, so things are going to change. And I didn't have this drum plugin, so I had to do the transformed audio on that version. And here we are. All right, so these are the drums here. So what I want to do is I want to take impact. I'm going to bring it into Studio One, just like this. And I'm going to choose a kit. I have no idea what I want to choose. Uh, city kit. Let's go with city kit. See what kind of sounds. Ooh. 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 All right, I like that. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to take the impact and I want to move it up underneath the original drum track. There we go. So, <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen here. So, we're going to take the first block of drum performances. And we're simply going to drag this straight down onto there. So, <laughs> let's see what it sounds like here. I've got a reason to in this way no, 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 hmm, it's not triggering I've got a re feeling this interesting so let's open up Ooh, what happened did I have a second one? Oh, it looks like I had a second one all right so let's go ahead and remove this yeah see I did some testing before the show but I don't remember the kit that I used all right so let's move remove track and instrument all right so let's go to this one and let's go ahead and choose. What did I choose? I think it was City Kit. All right. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Let's see what it sounds like with just the new kit. I'm not the only one. Something inside. Do they got like cowbell? Everything <laughs> I've done is dead. Something I want. Alright, let's do it for the rest. Nothing I tried to do with your heart. I beg for forgiveness. That's cool. 
All right, let's go ahead and look at the second part. I'm going to bring the original drum kit back in. I'm going to see how they sound layered. All right, we need to highlight. Now, since this impact drum kit has a bunch of different channels, I just highlighted all of the channels. And uh, you can either click on the first one, hold shift, and click on the last one, or you can take the first one, at least with this kind of setup for impact, just kind of drag across, and it highlights them all. Now that's a pretty decent mix, I think. <laughs> Not bad. All right, so what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Go ahead and leave a comment in the comments area. Do you like the kind of additions? Do you think I should replace it or just kind of leave it layered like this? The great thing about this is, is you can take older songs that you've actually done the transform function off of, or even newer songs, drag down the MIDI channel into a new VST, oh, I'm sorry, the MIDI information down to a new VST track. I could have even done this with a bunch of percussion stuff just to see what it played. It is a really good way to do a single drum performance and bring it down into individual tracks, bring the MIDI information down into individual tracks and really expand on your sound. So it is quite cool. So uh, please, I would appreciate it if uh, you would leave a comment. And as always, if you would hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, hit the, notif hit, the notif notif hit the notification bell to know when these shows are going to start. If you really like what's happening here, become a member and with a, a small monthly donation uh, you will get some awesome benefits with three affordable levels available depending on how good you think the channel is all right i really do appreciate that and i will see you all in the next video